It's my feel good breakfast show. Welcome back, you beautiful souls. Thank you so much for tuning in as we almost wrap up the show. Mm. Time to squeeze in some madness, mayhem, and lots of love. The multiple Tony Award winning musical uh, production, Kinky Boots, is currently enjoying its local premiere um, featuring an all South African cast, which is absolutely awesome. It's currently playing out at the Fugard Theatre in Cape Town. A story of hope of friendship and um, imagination inspiration um, and it's um, we are so lucky to have and it proves i think undoubtedly that as much as we all think we are different we are maybe a lot more like each other than we know <laughs> we can do it Please give a very warm, a huge welcome to cast um, members from Kinky Boots. Um, it includes <laughs> an incredible score, as you just heard, from Cindy Lauper, yeah. unbelievable, and the unbelievably talented uh, cast of Darren Craig, yeah. Daniel Wilson, and Travis Turner. Welcome, guys. Yeah, guys. Oh, um, man, so much magic just having you guys sitting here across, thank you, thank you, uh, thank uh, across you. from us. But, uh, Darren, you play Charlie uh, Price, the owner of the shoe factory. For those who don't know the basic story of what Kinky Boots is about, can you give us a, a brief breakdown? For sure. Mm. Uh, well, firstly, thanks for having us. Yeah. Um, Kinky Boots is a story about Charlie Price, who reluctantly inherits his father's factory, um, which is a shoe factory that's been run for four generations by his family. Um, and it, it's financially going through some trouble. And he comes across this Lola character, this drag queen that's just sensational and brings him to this reality that, that with this friendship, things could work, things could change. The company starts changing. His mindset starts, uh, starts changing. Mm -hmm. The factory staff, who are a little bit bigot, become friendly and welcoming to this drag culture. And it saves the factory. It saves everyone in it. Um, and there are boots. There are plenty of <laughs> lots of boots. inspiring <laughs> boots. Um, but an unbelievable score. So I would imagine you, you've got to be a triple threat with this one. You've got to be able to sing. You've got to be able to move. You've got to be able to act. Mm, um, Daniel, absolutely. you play a young Charlie. Um, first of all, what's it been like? Because you guys must spend a lot of time rehearsing for something that is this many dimensions to a performance. What's it been like being a part of this production? Um, well, I was in The Sound of Music, and it was kind of play everybody knows everybody knows what my character was and now with this i need to kind of imagine my own character and i'm having awesome. a lot of fun with that that's cool <laughs> what is your character like how would you describe um him? he's he's kind of like he's not sure what he wants to do yet and he's kind of been forced to want to make shoes mm. Mm. Oh, shame. That's a tough <laughs> life. He's a little mean. Exactly. a tough life, eh? <laughs> oh, man. Travis, uh, so you play young Lola, and yes. you, it's the first time we see the character Lola. But how did you work with the team to ensure that you set the right tone, uh, you know, for, 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 for Lola, for people to enjoy Lola and get into the character of Lola? Well, since it's the first time being, in a being on a professional stage, mm. I've learned new ways of acting and dancing, and my favorite thing to do which is acting. Yeah. And being a character that is comfortable with wearing women's shoes and clothing, yeah. it makes me feel like this character, young Lola, is happy and being free from being herself. Yeah. How many times did you stumble and fall just trying to get into those <laughs> heels? Just twice. Ah, just twice. Ah, just twice. Uh, you're better than him already. <laughs> you put him on once and he fell all over the place. You say, uh, her name was Lola. <laughs> okay. I've got a pup called Lola, so this is just so, so awesome to me. Um, this is proudly South African. Mm. Dude, that's got to make you feel, all of you, incredibly proud to be part of a South African cast like this. It's difficult to, to summate something that is this explosive and awesome and, and has the emotion that it has, but why should people come and watch to support you guys? People should come and watch this show because there's so much passion has gone into it and we really have worked so extremely hard to give such an authentic Northampton Kinky Boots experience. Yeah. Um, we all, we've worked so hard on the accents, the dancing. I mean, Lola and them are just sensational. The voices in the show are just massive, yeah. massive. 
you would not be forgiven for, for thinking you're in Broadway yeah. watching this show, which is what a lot of the audience is saying. But that's what it's about, man. Absolutely. No, yeah. You guys yeah. should be very proud and feel quite privileged to be a part of something that's mm. it's Tony Award-winning play. So that's, that's quite a mental to put on your shoulders. No pressure, guys. That's it, no <laughs> pressure at all. And we certainly can't mm. wait to, to check it out. So you at home, don't miss this South African premiere of the hit Tony Award winning musical. It's uh, Kinky Boots. It's uh, being performed at the Fugat Theatre right here in Cape Town until the 27th of October 2019. Wow. And the performances, I mean, you can catch them Tuesdays to Saturdays at 8pm. Uh, and of course, you can also catch the Saturday performance on Sundays at 3pm. So go and open your mind, Sam. And right now, open your mind, brace yourself for something quite special. Um, tickets are only 180 Rand, but you don't have to pay a cent as we speak right now because you're about to get a very singular performance. Are you ready, guys? 